Okay, this morning I smashed up some black raspberries from our garden area and there was one blueberry that was mixed in with the frozen fruit and I added uh, a little bit of uh, yam to that and so you want to have variation with their diet and so these are little actual little seedlings that was coming up uh, in the uh, greenhouse with the roots and some cilantro and a little bit more kale. Um, I took the tops of some of the uh, carrots and just the real tiny um, tender ones uh, and I have a basil leaf here and some cilantro so I'm just going to chop this up this morning and um, I think I'm going to add a little bit of TNT which is a turtle uh, vitamin um, food. Um, Sparky this morning he has been really eyeballing um, in the direction of the worms and he's over here in his uh, feeding area where he ate the last time and he's just really um, appearing to be hungry when they start watching your hands and, and looking intently and uh, going to the area where uh, they've eaten the last time and stuff uh, there's just little clues and I just hate to make him wait uh, another day if he's really hungry so um, I, I have a feeling he is he is ready to eat so I have the stuff ready okay I've got his fruit and veggies uh, on a romaine leaf of lettuce it just kind of helps to keep the mess from running uh, all over uh, the rock it just helps some uh, so he's uh, just sitting there waiting for the real food. Okay, here's a pretty decent sized hornworm that I'm going to go ahead and try to tuck it in the food. I want him to see that that hornworm is there for starters. He's really fed up with me. I didn't film, uh, I think this is either, I think this might be the fourth one. And he, uh, I've really pushed the berry and the concoction that I've made up for him. The blueberry and the black raspberry and the greens from the garden. And uh, so he's, he's pretty mad uh, right now because uh, he knows that uh, he's ended up with a lot of what he don't want so he's he wants the worms but he's just really miserably battling to try to keep from getting everything else mixed in so but he's getting other stuff too not happy but he's at all possible uh, if you have two of these uh, tongs that you can work with one that you can keep clean uh, to take out the um, the worms and the other and it, it also applies like when you're cleaning out the wax worms if you have um, you know you're taking all of the dead ones out you don't want to contaminate the um, tongs so anyhow you just want to have like I have a, the clean I'm going to give him a break and just let him eat it this time I know I'm bad but he's, he's just so fed up right now from being stuck with stuff he hates.
Now, he just took a bite of the romaine. See, that's the beauty of having the romaine as a plate. Uh, they'll take little bits and bites Another out Another thing, you want to try to uh, mound up their food. Um, like in a little pile. Of course, he's shoving it back down flat with his foot. Um, so, anyhow. I think he's losing that one. No, he got it. These are a better choice than like the mealworms. I don't feed Sparky mealworms because they have kind of like a tougher skin. The superworms, I think, is a better choice. And I think these, um, now see, Sparky just ate that. Um, and uh, so he has really, whoops, I'm, I know I'm not filming this, I missed it. Um, so he's really gotten, he's, He's gotten his little tidbits of greens, fruits, and veggies today, even though he it's not his thing. So maybe he's getting enough that, apparently, he's getting enough that um, he seems to be have really gotten along well for a long time, haven't you, Sparky? Mm -hmm. Are you full? I'm not sure. I didn't keep count today as to really how many. Um, I think he probably would have eaten more, but he's just kind of sick to death of the of having to have the greens and the fruit. Did you just getting sick of that, Sparky? Hmm. I'm just afraid you're going to take in some more greens because I really think that he would love to just have the worm.